and today we're visiting Toledo, Spain. Lost in Toledo, we don't know which way to go. Okay, so we just parked in the center. This is Santo Tome Garage. So 18 euros for um, a full 24 hours, which is good because we're literally right in the center of the city. It takes a long time to get in, but uh, with all the twisty windy roads getting lost, you know, the whole works. So. But we're here. So we're right in the city center, this uh, apartment, which is apparently going to be really nice. Oh, hello! You gotta check out upstairs. Um, there's like this whole little rooftop patio. So this is the rooftop right down in there as uh, goes down into our building and this is our view from the top here. It's just beautiful and look at this little sitting area for a nice tea or coffee in the morning. That's going to be so lovely. Good morning girls. From Toledo. <laughs> We're just about to have a lovely little breakfast with this beautiful view. I went out already this morning to the car to get some things and then I got lost in all the little streets. Went and got some yummy bread and uh, that's what's kind of nice about Europe. They don't take debit cards everywhere you go. So then I had to go find a bank machine which was like all the way up somewhere else and then on the way back I was lost. I was like, I don't know which way is which anymore. <laughs> so, but I found my way home. Okay, so everyone's outside already. We're just about to head off and uh, do a few walking tours through the villages. And I just wanted to show you this little court area here because last night it was kind of dark. But see how it looks? It's really, really pretty. And then we are staying somewhere up there on the second floor. So when you come out on the streets, this is what you get. Little, little streets everywhere you go. There's the cathedral in the distance. And this is why it's so easy to get lost because they all twist and twine, twist and turn. And uh, it's just really confusing. So hopefully I find Tyler and the girls, but they're at this way somewhere. I found them. So they were at the car getting comfy shoes. So now we're good to go because we're gonna do a lot of walking as you do in Europe. Um, but here the streets are like all cobblestone streets up and down and since I went out this morning and walked 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 already um, we're all gonna wear running shoes so this is usually we don't usually wear running shoes we usually wear like little I don't know just little sandals and such so here comes Chloe so see when you drive down these streets there's like literally no room for the cars and the pedestrians so it's really interesting when you're when you're walking or you're trying to drive like we did last night we went down some streets that I don't think we were supposed to go down but um yeah, you're literally almost touching the wall. It's pretty crazy. All right, so let's check out what this little beautiful city has to offer us. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Spain and France are the top two destinations for travelers um, when they come to Europe. Maybe even in the world, I'm not sure, but definitely Europe. And this city is one of the most popular ones as well. So in the summertime, it probably can get really busy. When I was out this morning, there was already tons and tons of tour groups and tourists everywhere. And, uh, but that's what makes it really cool, right? All the hustle bustle along all the streets. And I found one street, girls. 
Um, it has all the stores and stuff, so we'll sh definitely film that and show you guys what it looks like there. This is what happened this morning. So I get somewhere. I know it looks obvious because there's like a big church there, but I would get to like a square. And this morning I went down that street there and I should have gone down that street, but then I got totally lost. Didn't know where I was going, but made it back. walking tour that you can do kind of shows you some of the highlights and tells you all the different um, things and then there's a city map so you can kind of see all the intertwining streets or I can show you this one as well maybe you can hold it on Shalik so where we're staying is right here on this Calle San Marcos so we have a beautiful view of the whole cathedral and then you can just see everything's kind of contained it's still fairly big but at the same time very much contained. Are they olden day guns girls? Look at it, it's like a sword shop and gun store. I'm gonna buy this list. All these uh <laughs> oh, look, look at this. But look at all it's like the, the wild west. Oh, that's fun. You guys would have fun with that, wouldn't you? We didn't even show you the downstairs in that store, but they had like this whole torture chamber uh, remnants of what used to happen, so I much prefer to show you this store with the meat and cheeses. So the typical jamon hanging there in the window. Wine and cheese. That's much better than torture chambers yeah, and, cut off head uh, and scary stuff. Okay, I saw this this morning. Just couldn't help but stop for a Starbucks. This plaza here is where all the tours and um, basically, yeah, tours and sightseeing places meet. It's called Plaza Zocodor. Zocodover. Probably saying it wrong. Okay, so right now behind me is the um, old city and we're right now entering into like outside of the city walls basically. There was three religions basically living in this city, hopefully peacefully. The Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims. Okay, so to go inside this um, Alcazar, basically they turned it into a museum. So it's a museum where you can go and see everything. It's five euros per adults and the kids are free, which is not bad. However, it's uh, two hours to go visit, so we may just come back. Uh, we'll see what our timing is, because we're here for the day. Uh, we arrived last night and we're spending one more night, but we might not have enough time by the time we want to see it all, right? Take it all in. So that's it on the outside, so you can just see what it looks like. Okay, so here's a little bit of history on Toledo because this city dates back all the way from 192 BC, so quite a long time ago, guys. And um, all around the city, basically on all three sides, is the Tagus River. And outside the city walls, you can still see um, some ruins, some Roman ruins from when they had like the circus or gladiator probably games and such like that. So in the year 1085, the uh, Spanish rule basically took it over back from the Moors who were ruling at the time. And this became the capital of the Spanish empire all the way to the 1500s before they moved it to Madrid. So very important city as far as that, re like in that regards. And uh, if you're in Madrid visiting the city, it's only about a short, maybe 45 to an hour distance. So worthwhile coming for a day trip. Probably a better view of the Alcazar right here. It was originally built as a fortress for the city. We just found a 
grocery store to stop in at, which is great. So we filled up with a bunch of stuff. And it's really nice because where we're staying is right in the city center. So we can just go back right now, have a quick little lunch. We got stuff for dinner and breakfast. And uh, it's just so convenient. We're just having a really nice lunch here, mm -hmm. enjoying the terrasse. Mm -hmm. And now we have a little bit more bearings of where everything's at. So over there in a distance, this is the Alcazar. And this, of course, is the cathedral that we see. One thing we love in Spain is olives. Mm -hmm. The bread, mm -hmm. chorizo, so yummy. And this is like, honestly, like we couldn't have gotten more central than this because we're literally in the heart of it all. And everything seems so quiet and calm. If you go down the streets right now, it's just hustling and bustling with all the tourists. I just want to show you guys the detail here in all the rocks. So they're all designed and carved out like that. Emblems and pendants here. We just finished a really nice lunch at home. Now we're back out to discover some more that the city has to offer. We're on our way to the Jewish quarters. So, um, and then we'll talk a little bit about the Spanish Inquisition, which is not very nice, but part of history, I guess. So right behind me is a museum. It's a museum of a man called El Greco. And that behind us is where he used to live and where you can go in and see all his beautiful paintings from the Spanish Renaissance. Um, what else can I say about it? I think children are free. It costs three euros for the adults to go in. And um, yeah, I already said kids are free. He was from Greece and then he moved to Venice when he was uh, 26 years old. And then he moved to Toledo where he continued painting and uh, lived here till he died, basically. So not too far from the museum at Greco, there's come to this museum and you can see more of his paintings. Check out this store here. about to go right now this call this place it's called Mazapan Santo Tome Confiteria that's what it's called right here this is like the most famous one in all of Spain and you'll see why in a sec I guess the pastries are amazing but at Christmas time you get people lined up coming in to buy uh, Christmas gifts and such for for people yeah. actually wrapping it in gift paper for us but this okay let me explain again this store so this store is one of the most famous ones in all of Spain because they make these things that are called I'm gonna mess it up Masapan, Masapan, right and um, we're about to taste it and let you know what it tastes like but they have like these almonds inside and people come from all over Spain and line up at Christmas time to buy these as gifts for people so we're about to find out how delicious they really are so um, the store has actually been here for 160 years, if you can imagine. So no wonder why they're so famous and doing good, but you can order online and everything. Can't wait to try it. It's really confusing because all the streets start looking alike. It's kind of like when you're in Venice, you just don't know which way to go, which street to turn in Venice, down. There's in Venice there's bridges. Here there's no water and bridges to cross over. So this gate here is called um, Alfonso the Sixth. It's it's a Muslim origin from the t early 10th century. Its modern designation is to remember the king who conquered back the town in the 1058. Okay, it's like you're getting a present. Yeah, she wrapped it all up for us. Happy birthday, Angelique. <laughs> okay, who's gonna have the first bite? Me. I want to see what's. What's your uh, thoughts and your? She may think it's one Let's all try it at the same time. Oh, oh no, no, no. Hello. Oh, okay. You should have a try. Is this a dolphin or? So it comes in a package. We got one that comes in multiple ones. So. All right. Let's see what your thoughts are. Is it as good as they say it is? Yeah, it tastes like honey. The pastry tastes like honey. 
Is it good? Yeah? Does yours have almonds in it, Chloe? No? Mine's fine too. But it's really good. So yummy. So it's almonds and flavored? Like almonds or no? Honey. Honey? It tastes like honey and almond. Honey, almond, and bread. Really good. So I think they're having the siesta though on the benches behind us. That was really funny. They're all just chilling and sleeping. It wasn't the sweets that did it to them. Really, really pretty. This building here was a hospital. Okay, Angelique, what just happened to you? I saw a brown dog that didn't have barely any fur run by me and I thought it was a monkey, so I got She like screamed, <laughs> she really screamed and jumped. So you know you've been in Africa too long when you're in like Spain and you jump for a dog thinking it's a monkey, right? Here's what always surprises me when we come to Spain is we see all these little ladies and they always wear their high heels, their fancy little purses and jackets and they look just so pretty and done up. I hope one day or when I mature like that that I will be all fancy like that too because it's so pretty. They often like are all made up with their makeup and it's just really cute to see. Uh, so earlier I was saying we were going to talk a little bit about the Spanish Inquisition and um, basically it's very sad but um, this happened for many many years. I believe 300 years to be correct and uh, the king and queen of Spain went to the Pope in Rome and um, asked him if they could get permission to basically uh, convert everybody to Christianity and it that included Protestants so if you were a Christian and Protestant uh, you had to convert to Catholic if you were Muslim you had to convert to Catholic and if you were Jewish as well and if not um, they basically shooed them away murdered them and so it's kind of like history is repeating itself but uh, it's just crazy so hardcore history. So we're having like a typical Spanish dinner. It's like I think nine something at night, actually quarter to ten. But look at the view we have behind us. And uh, what's crazy is we were only going to stay one night. We would have missed out on this beautiful terrace dinner with like really good food. So it's just amazing. Is it yummy girls? Mm -hmm. You guys liking the view? Mm -hmm. The coolest thing, he put a jump all the way up at the top. And then turn it, make it turn, and then do a whole view. Well, that would be that would be really cool, wouldn't it? Hi guys, I'm going to take you guys on the tour of the Catedral de Toledo. Look how big that is! <laughs> 